you know, the holidays, Christmas and Hanukkah, and, and even Kwanzaa for a couple of the kids, it, it's probably one of my favorites. Um, I enjoy that because, you know, I buy into the miracle on 34th Street, and, and that's when miracles happen. You know, Thanksgiving, I'm very thankful for the things I've received. At Christmas time, you can make kids, particularly our kids, believe that things will happen for them that they never thought possible. And so they do come in, uh, you know, in and out of uh, placement, certainly, and group homes, um, and, and some of them foster homes. And they'll come with, with nothing, or they, they bring their belongings in, uh, you know, trash bags or uh, a ripped uh, duffel bag or sack. So, you know, to have something that they can carry to the next thing with them, which is why, you know, things like photographs and and just little gifts that they can, and, and keepsakes that they can keep for themselves and remember, hey, I got this, you know, from, you know, from those people who came. I got this from the lady who came and did the cookie bar with us. I got this, you know, from a group of people who cared enough of us, of us or for us at the holidays you know, to bring something with us. So that continuity in their lives, and that's one of the things that we learned about them. That continuity is so important. And so when people come at Christmas time um, and, and give gifts and, and Hanukkah to our kids, it's something that makes them feel like, you know, I'm worth it. Somebody left their family at Christmas time at Hanukkah to, to be with me.